there. Thanks for tuning in to Dear Cyber Sue. I'm Susan McCord. Today's topic is, is your partner all talk and no action? Well, this can happen after the honeymoon stage is over. You've been together for a decent amount of time. You get along really well. You're committed to each other. And then comes the the time where we relax a little bit too much. We get take things for granted. We get a bit lazy. And this can happen in the most normal relationships, the best relationships. What happens is we just don't put in the same amount of effort. We say a lot of things we're going to do just to appease our partners, but we don't always follow through. And this is something that over long term in any relationship is going to become a big problem. Because if you don't follow through on things that you promise your partner, eventually they're going to get frustrated with you. They're going to get fed up and say, like, why do you even say anything? So I think sometimes when you write something down and you, you look at it, like it's on a, you know, some board or something that you are looking at on a regular basis, and you keep seeing this, these things you've written down that don't happen, it tends to kind of get into your head a little bit more than if you're just verbalizing them. I think it's a really good idea to make notes about what you want to want to do. A lot of people have these vision boards that they post things on and they try to make happen and a lot of people actually do make them happen. Sometimes when we just talk about things, it's not as visual. So when we write it down, we look at it, we see a note somewhere that reminding us of something we have to do, we end up doing it. So that's one thing that I suggest you do. Please try not to procrastinate about everything in your partnership because that comes across like you're you're not telling the truth. You're just saying things to make, you know, them feel good for the moment that you're going to do this and you're going to do that. In a relationship, you have to follow through on stuff. You can't just throw it out there and and make out like it's going to happen and it never does because it's boring to your partner that you are repeating a phrase that's constantly never transpiring into action. This works for both both sides. I mean, this happens quite often with couples in a relationship where they both do it. And it's because sometimes we just don't really want to follow through on some of the things we have to. Some of the goals we've set are things that are necessary to do and we just don't want to do them. So we just push them aside. But that can make a lot of arguments in your relationship. It can cause a lot of problems. And everybody out there that's starting out in a new relationship, pay attention to this. Is this person just a lot of talk? Or are they the kind of person that actually comes and puts everything out on the table and makes it happen? These are things that are really important when you're trying to decide if you want to have a future with someone. Because if you're the one that's always making everything happen in your relationship and they're just talking about it, you're the one that's going to be always in the driver's seat, which is not always a good thing because you're the one will have to take charge of your entire relationship. So please make sure that if you find that you're procrastinating in a lot of areas in your life, it's really time to start putting some things out there that you can actually make happen. Don't put your goals too big, too much. Make sure that what you're saying you want to want to be able to do, that you really have the desire to make it happen. So to feel good about yourself, put some things out there on a piece of paper that you want to accomplish. Start small, make them happen. When you're in a relationship, please don't just talk about things all the time and never come through, follow through with things because it's really hard in a relationship when one person's always doing the work. Eventually, you just get to the point where you just turn off your hearing and your selective hearing becomes the way you communicate with each other, which we all know that doesn't have a good ending. So listen to each other, talk to each other, follow through on things, put the procrastination, get rid of it, and try and make your relationship healthy by being the person that follows through on what you say. 
Thanks everyone for listening to Dear Cyber C today. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. Click like and leave any comments you have or any show topics. I'm always here to listen. Thanks so much everyone. Bye-bye.